Ugh. Oh no, it's the deadly grasp of an earphone tangle. I, I can't break free. Huh? So, this is how it ends, huh? At the hands of an ugly putty. What are you doing? You got a friend in me. I see. This is a valuable lesson indeed. Just because someone is as ugly as Deadpool's wrinkled nutsack does not mean they are a wrinkled nutsack on the inside. You've shown me that there's so much more than your wretched face. I will gladly accept your kindness and repay you with- Wait! What are you doing? He's a good person. What, this guy? Impossible. I mean, look at him. His face just screams bad guy. Oh wait, he's still moving. No! Hello and welcome back to another lightning collection review on the Ken O Wee channel. And as you've seen from the sketch, we will be talking about the twin pack figure featuring the fighting spirit Green Ranger and the Mighty Morphin Putty? How come the putty has the Mighty Morphin title? Could the putty actually be the hero of the series and we've been rooting for the villain this whole time? Man, this is some bullshit! Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about them. Why is this Green Ranger called the Fighting Spirit Green Ranger instead of just Green Ranger? Is there a big difference? Well, no. The only difference is that the Fighting Spirit has this bit on his helmet painted silver instead, and that's it. And the rest is pretty much the same, and part of me wishes to just give him an additional Green Ranger helmet, then it would pretty much be a 3 figure in one package, but that's probably asking for too much. As always, this figure is well sculpted, they've even got the Dragonzord coin detail on his belt, but my biggest gripe is that the gold application is not as metallic and looking a bit too yellow. I wish they'd just add more shine or make it just a tad darker to make the gold bits stand out a little bit more, but I guess I can't complain that much considering how much this package cost, but I do wish they maintained their quality control a little bit. It's looking like the early Marvel Legends days. Over to the Mighty Morphin Putty. Well, he looks hideous, and that's a good thing. You wouldn't want your putty looking all pretty. You are so beautiful. And since there have been plenty of putties, aka Power Rangers personal punching bags, the closest info I could find is that these are Super Putty Patrollers. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. All in all, I just wanted to say that this party has a great sculpt. Just look at those deformed hands. All the cracks and creases. It's also on his face as well. A face only a mother would love. The paint application is overall really clean aside from a few paint blotches here and there. But overall, I believe this figure is the reason why anyone would want to purchase this package. The Green Ranger is just an added bonus. I do think, however, they should improve on their figure arrangement in the box. As coming out fresh out of the box, their legs and arms are a little warped from their fixed position. Positions. I'd rather see them in a boring pose but get a clean figure than an interesting pose in a box but a warped figure. Since the articulation of these figures are the same as the White Ranger figure, I won't be talking about them, but if you're interested to know more, click the suggested video to see my White Ranger review, which showcases this line's articulation. But here are a few images demonstrating what these figures can do. And as always, it's plentiful, but the biggest difference is that the putty does not have a wrist articulation, but it is compensated with a forearm movement since it's pegged, but no forearm rotation on the Green Ranger. And the Green Ranger's head movement is a lot more restricted than usual. Moving on to the accessories, starting with the Green Ranger first. He's got the Tommy head as usual and I don't know if it's the luck of the draw, but he looks a lot better here than he did on the White Ranger figure. Just something to note. He already comes equipped with his left hand in a fist and his right hand ready to hold the Sword of Darkness. And another right hand to hold slash play the Dragon Dagger and a left hand in a karate chop position. And of course, his weapons. Yes, he comes fully equipped with the Sword of Darkness and the Dragon Dagger. And they both have sufficient pain and sculpt. Not the best, but I can't complain. And you have the green lightning effect in case you want to make him look cooler. For the putty, he's got a right hand in a weapon wielding position, but with no weapons to hold unless you want to give him the Sword of Darkness. He's got a face grabbing left hand and a pair of interchangeable weapon hands where one is a blade and the other is a big boulder. And you can peg it into either arm which is great. And to make sure he doesn't get left out, he's got a blue effect as well. How cute. 
and here is the Fighting Spirit Green Ranger and Mighty Morphin Putty, standing next to other figures for scale comparison. So in summary, you know I love this line, and this package is good enough. It would have been great, but a lot of it was ruined by the poor quality control on these figures. But generally, for the most part, good looking figures, although it could use a little more vibrance in Green Ranger's color schemes, but it comes with plenty of playable accessories, it's very poseable, and most importantly, I had a lot of fun with them. As I said before, the only reason anyone would get this package is the party figures, since there were plenty of Green Ranger figures before him. And it's nice to see the bad guys receiving some attention every once in a while. But if you want to emulate those scenes with the multiple putties, you're going to be forking out a lot unless they start selling individual putty figures in the future. With that all said, that concludes my review of this package. I hope you all enjoyed the review, leave a like on the video if you did, and I do thank you all very much for watching. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Click here for video 1 Click here for video 2 Click here to subscribe Click it Thank you for watching Arigato Thank you